Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Sweet Preacher 33, and I'm here with some NASA news, okay, and they called me, they were like, we're gonna, we, we gonna need your report on your page, I was like, yes sir, yes ma'am, I got y'all, okay, so this is NASA news, astrology news, okay, and it is, to, tonight we are having a winter solistic 2023 okay so it started today it started today thursday december the 21st 2023 at 9 27 p.m it is now 9 40 but central time though and it and it about to start again okay that's central time okay i think we in eastern time so it's about to start at 10 27 p.m tonight okay so pick which location you are in okay the exact time and dates of the solistic changes slightly each year it most often falls on december the 21st through sometimes occurs december the 22nd so tomorrow on rare occasions, the solicitors can happen as early as December the 20th or as late as December the 23rd, according to time and date. To avoid confusion between different time zones, the official time of the solicitors is based on Coordinated Universal Times, UTC, which is five hours ahead of Eastern Time. By that standard, a December the 23rd solistic last occurred more than a century ago, ago in 1903, and will not happen again until 2303. An early December 20th solistic will happen sooner in the year 2080. What is the meaning of the winter solistic? The December solistic marks the beginning of astronomical winter in the northern hemisphere. During the solistic, the noon sun appears directly over the Tropic of Capricorn, a line of latitude 23.5 degrees south of Earth's equator. It's the southernmost point at which the sun can be seen straight overhead 90 degrees above the horizon. In the Northern Hemisphere, we see the sun takes the lowest and shortest path across the southern sky. Ain't life feel good today? The low sun angle means you will cast your longest midday shadow of the year on the winter solistic, assuming the sky look clear. The word solistic comes from the Latin word solitism, which means which is S-O-L-S-T-I-T-I-U-M, which means sun standing still. Okay, on the December solistic, the sun's daily southward movement in the sky appears to pause, and the sun rises and sets at its southernmost points on the horizon. After, after the solistic, the position of sunrise and sunset shifts northward again, and we slowly begin to gain daylight. Why do we have a solistic? Solistic in seasons occur because Earth doesn't orbit the sun completely upright. Instead, Earth's axis is tilted from, tilt from the vertical by about 23.5 degrees. Who? which causes each hemisphere to receive different amounts of sunlight throughout the year. In December, the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, bringing up less direct sunlight and colder weather. Meanwhile, in the southern hemisphere, December the 21st marks the first day of astronomical summer, and the longest day of the year. Who kind of feel long? Halfway between the winter and summer solistics, I did say they humble, or the equipment knots, when the length of day and nights are nearly equal everywhere on Earth. When does winter begin? Though the winter solistic is often referred to as the first day of winter, there are different ways to define the season starts and end dates. 
December the 21st is the first day of astronomical winter in the Northern Hemisphere, which runs until the spring equinox in March. Meteorological winter, however, coincides with the three coldest months of the calendar year and runs from December the 1st to the end of February. Solar winter, defined as the darkest three-month period of the year, begins in early November and lasts until early February. Many ancient cultures consider the winter solstice to be midwinter, as it occurs halfway into the darkest calendar quarter of the year. When is the shortest day of the year? The shortest daylight period of the year in the Northern Hemisphere is always on the winter solstice. However, the earliest sunset and latest sunrise of the year do not happen on the same day. DC sees 9 hours and 26 minutes of daylight on December the 21st. Sunrise at 7:23 a.m. and sunset at 4:49 p.m. The earliest sunset, however, was at 4.45 p.m. on December the 7th, while the latest sunrise was on was at 7.27 a.m. on January the 5th. The exact dates of the earliest sunset and the latest sunrise depends on one's latitude. I know, right? <laughs> they said, I'm, I'm giving that to y'all. I got a surprise for y'all, too, but I ain't going to tell y'all to, like, Christmas. A little baby always tells you, okay, okay. In most of the lower 48, the earliest sunset and the latest sunrise occurs about two weeks before and after the solistic, respectively. Yes, and if I, when I do, I'm still going to tell y'all on, on Christmas, but when I do, it's it going to be on, on that page and this page, okay, that I'm reading it for, since they like these two. Closer to the article circle, the earliest sunset and latest sunrise occurs on or near December the 21st. When do the days start getting longer? Like a shrinking pendulum, daylight starts to increase as soon as we get past the solstice. though you probably won't notice it at first. DC loses less than one second of daylight. December the 22nd but gains four seconds of light December the 23rd according to timeanddate.com. By early January, daylight increases by more than 30 seconds per day. Cities at higher latitudes, closer to the North Pole, that's not us, start gaining sunlight more rapidly. In Archer Age, day, daylight begins, because we live in the South, y'all. But you can also look at it to the most high. Daylight begins to increase by more than two minutes per day during the first week of January. How is the winter solstice celebrated? Humans throughout history have celebrated the solstice with rituals such as bonfires, oh yes, and ceremonial dances to mark the passage of the seasons. The ancient Romans held a week-long pagan festival called Saturnalia, dedicated to the god of time and archiculture, around December the 17th to celebrate the return of the sun's light. The modern day association between Christmas and Yuli comes from the North World World Yuli, a pre Christian winter solistic festival held in Scandinavia. Okay, you right, right most high. The custom of lightning a little log at Christmas is believed to have originated in the bonfires associated with the feast of Jul J U U L according to the time and date. Com. Numerous prehistoric monuments and landmarks around the world were was built to mark the sun's changing path in the sky. Stonehenge, which was built more than 5,000 years ago, 95, 
in modern day England is perhaps the best known of these prehistorical landmarks. Some historians say the large circle of freestanding stones was once a solar calendar loose to frack the seasons. Today, thousands gather a stone hinge each year to celebrate the Celestic equinox in the changing of the seasons. During the winter Celestic, <coughs> it's coming to decorate evergreen trees, balls or reefs, and add seasonal glamour to our homes. Me and baby not. This tradition serves as a reminder to embrace light during the darkest day of the year and to honor the guiding force of nature. Evergreen symbolizes death and rebirth like the seasonal changes, reminding us of the circle of life. Therefore, we should consider keeping the tradition alive and bringing joy to our dwellings. Of course, we don't have to lose a real free or reef. The intention remains the same, no matter what. Okay, it's also in Capricorn. Capricorn starts today. The sun enters the Capricorn. So, happy birthday to you, Capricorns. The sun enters Capricorn on December the 21st, bringing a new season in this solar shift. The winter solistic on December the 21st allows us to embark on the new season with hopefully a sense of reflection. <clears throat> December 26th, full moon in Cancer brings an emotional release and paves the way for a positive influence from Venus. Yes, yeah, got my birthday coming up after Christmas, two days after Christmas. You know, it's the 28th of December. Be throwing her a party. Uh, I was gonna cut neck bones, but then my baby mama Nisha was like, No, which, which is my sister, by the way. So that's her grandma, too. She was like, No, she won't. She, she, we gotta get food that she like. Like, she like, um, fish. We're gonna have a fish fry. I'm like, A fish fry? Okay, but she paying for it though. Okay, because I was gonna cook neck bones, but she was like, You know, grandma can't eat pork. And I'm like, Yeah, food. But I am getting the cake though. So we getting the cake. I gotta order the cake. I gotta order the cake today. Or tomorrow. I gotta order the cake tomorrow. And, um, so we gotta get the cake. Either, I, either, I, I was gonna think of meatloaf though. She loves meatloaf. So either meatloaf or fish fry. Come on, baby, y'all. As Pluto enters Aquarius, buckle up for major change. Here's your special winter solistic horoscope for 2023. Okay, y'all ready? So if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, this for you. Are you ready to turn up the heat at work this winter, Aries? Starting December the 21st, when your creativity ruling sun enters your 10th house of career and influence, you could feel emboldened to make some serious raves. Lose your imagination to dream up some ambitious goals and map out how you plan to accomplish them in the new year. This is also a beautiful time to rub shoulders with people who can help you get what you want. Then, when your ruling planet, Mars, also enters your 10th house on January the 4th, you could receive an extra boost of confidence that helps you to take full advantage of the exciting professional professional opportunities that lies ahead. Whether you're gearing up for a promotion or looking to start a new entrepreneurial venture, you find you able to summon all the tendencies and drive needed to reach the milestones you set. Ain't a lot of people out there been knowing they got a lot of promotions today. Like my baby, my husband got one. My niece got one. Hopefully my son get one. Anyway, hopefully I get one, personally. Okay, now, this is for you, Taurus. If you have Taurus in a way in your shot, this is for you. It's okay to move slowly when it comes to your finances, Taurus. In fact, this could prove particularly necessary as Mercury, your money-ruling planet, 
begins traveling through your eighth house of sex, death, and other people's money on January the 1st. With the speedy planet still in his retrograde shadow period until January the 20th, you need to be careful when it comes to decisions around investments, inheritance, debts, and mortgages. Lose your intuition and do your research before signing any contracts or making any large purchases. Then prepare to start making a splash in your professional world. Uh, once you rain it, your career will in plenty stations direct in your first house of appearances and the cell phone January with a friendly seven. If it feels like you've been hitting a brick wall with your efforts at work lately, this frenzy could empower you to tap into your hidden potential and chase long held desires. Follow your instincts and let your in- and let your enthusiasm take the lead, okay? If you have Gemini's anywhere in your chart, this is for you. Have you felt tempted to retreat from the world lately, Gemini? That's for you, Dad. This winter, go ahead and take some extra time along to process your emotions, particularly as your love ruling planet, Jupiter, which is Scorpio. Stations direct in your fifth house of dreams and secrets on December the 30th. This frenzy could offer you a vital opportunity to break damaging relationship patterns. While taking responsibility for your actions may be difficult at first, doing so will ultimately help you heal and grow your heart. Then you may have the urge to shake up your day-to-day routines and as Pluto, your health and work ruling planet, moves through your ninth house of travel and education beginning on January the 20th. Your clever mind could crave stimulation more than ever during this period. Seize this chance to explore uncharted territory and experiment with new ways of doing things. Okay, this is for you, Cancerians, Cancers. If y'all have this anywhere in your chart, it's for you. My bad said it could be for him. Let's see. Two heads are often better than one, Cancer. You be wise to remember that when the sun, which governs your relationship to money, Illuminates your seventh house of partnerships and marriage starting December the 21st. Teaming up with friends, loved ones, and colleagues could prove especially lucrative during this period. Still, it's important that you don't let your voice be still for in the process. True. Prepare to stand up for what you believe in as you chart your path forward together. Who? Then when Pluto, your creativity and entertainment, I gotta look it up, eh? Woolen Planet enters your eighth house of death and transformation on January the 20th. You could feel inspired to immerse yourself in a surprising new interest or hobby. Okay, you may look it up. I'm gonna look on both of y'all, both of it, or just one. The one now, the one now. Okay. What's in your Pluto? You got Scorpio too. Scorpio is in. I'm gonna see Scorpio page. Scorpio day plan. You ain't got Scorpio in none of your shards. Oh, you should have got in the first house. Your identity. Okay. <clears throat> Perhaps you find yourself fascinated with your puzzles, astrology, or antiques. Anything that centers around. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start laughing. Y'all can't start laughing. Okay, never mind. Anyway, anyway. Anything that centers around uncovering hidden knowledge is sure to pick you your interest. Have fun playing detective. Okay. This is for me. Okay. Or this for any of you Leos out there. If you have Leos anywhere in your shirt, it's for you. I'm a Leo. So, let's see. 
Are you ready to get a jump start on your New Year's resolution, Leo? <clears throat> Starting December the 21st, which is today, as your woolen sun illuminates your sixth house of health, work, and habits, you could find it easier to identify what has and hasn't been working lately with regard to your daily routines. Uh, I think I got bug out of my sister's house. Let me see. No, I got a leak out. But I still got bug out in there because I got that mercury right there. That's about my health. So, I'm going to go on my health. We're going to your daily routines. Lose this burst of clarity to determine what you want your schedule to look like in the coming months. Then at Uranus, your passion will in plenty begin traveling through your 10th house of influence and in public life on January the 27th. Your confidence could start drawing people in even more than usual. I know in my 10th house I got Capricorn. So see, my Uranus. I got Aquarius and Uranus. Tenth house, I got Sagittarius. My baby. Oh Lord, that don't look good. Let me see. I don't know. I gotta do a person. If you are single, you may end up attracting someone who previously admired you from afar. But no matter your relationship status, you should sure have fun hitting up all sorts of parties and events throughout this period. This is a fantastic moment to capitalize on the fresh opportunities that networking can provide. You ain't lying. I done got a lot of deals from networking. What I'm doing now, a lot of deals. Okay. This is for you, Virgos. If y'all have this anywhere in y'all short, this is for you. Yes, I'm an empreneur. My mama is actually a Virgo. So, let's see. Good. <clears throat> a simple change in perspective has the power to change your whole life, Virgo. Be sure to keep that in be sure to keep that in mind as Jupiter, your domestic woolen planet, stations direct in your ninth house of travel and education on December the 30th. If you've been thinking about making a move, it could be an excellent time to check out new living spaces or even consider embarking on an adventure aboard. And you did, Mom. If you happy where you are, try finding ways to quench your thirst for knowledge from the comfort of home, like taking an online class. You could feel even more empowered to spread your wings and soar off in a new direction when your health and work will your reign is also stations direct in your ninth house on January 27th, okay? It was a plenty seed. Seize this moment to embrace spontaneity and accept invitations to explore the world around you. Opportunities could come quickly, so be ready to act. Okay? If you have Libras anywhere in your chart, this is for you. Mainly your sons, my bad y'all. You have an innate ability to soothe wounded egos and smooth the ruffled feathers, Libra. But your talent for charming just about anyone could reach new heights once Venus, your woolen plenty, makes her way into your third house of communication and neighbors on December the 29th. Harness this energy to build up the people around you and spark engaging conversations within your social circle. Then your perception of value could start to shift indefinitely when Pluto, your money minded plenty, yeah, he is, enters your fifth house of pleasure and creativity on January the 20th. Throughout this nine month transit, you may feel less tied to material possessions and more eager to focus on fostering joy through experiences. Have fun experimenting with new hobbies and filling your world with wonder. Okay, if y'all have Scorpios anywhere in your shore, this is for you. So, Ken, break out of your comfort zone. 
this went to Scorpio. Because you in trouble. You ain't even talking to me. Let's see what's going on with you. As your career ruling son enters your third house of communication and neighbors on December the 21st, speaking your mind could help usher some exciting new jobs. So that's why. Projects and collaborations into your professional world. So you be wise not to clam up during this period. Oh, damn. Now, it's also a smart time to entertain small talk. It may help you gather inspiration for your next big idea. Okay, see, so what happened with Ken and why he, like, said that he, um, I mean, you know, he told Booster to do that. Because, like, he got his ass beat by Michael because he fucked up the damn stocks. Okay, and Michael don't play about his stocks. Okay, once you fuck up the stocks, everything go downhill, okay? But you can still tell us your ideas. You just gotta tell us, you know, you just can't just jump into stocks like that now. Yeah, I don't really do that shit. Okay. Then when you're raining, your domestic wool of stations direct in your seventh house of relationships on January the 27th. You could feel empowered to make some positive adjustments to your closest connections or foster new bonds with people who celebrate your individuality. Avoid burning bridges un unnecessarily, but prepare to step away from those who might hold you back from evolving into your best self. Okay. This is for you, Sagittarius. If y'all have this anyway in y'all short, it's for you. Which is I heard for Kia and my girl Jenna. Okay. Are you ready to settle in and get cozy, Sagittarius? When Venus, your domestic woolen planet, makes her way into your first house of appearances and the self on December the 29th, you have a beautiful you have a beautiful opportunity to ground yourself in your space or perhaps a new one. But while it could be tempting to splurge on new items for your home or do a big design overhaul, it's important that you do a little price shopping before you commit to anything. Every time I see you, every time you see me. Meanwhile, you could find yourself in a, moon, a mood to start establishing helpful new habits as Jupiter, your ruler planet, stations direct in your sixth house of work and routines beginning on December the 30th. Take advantage of this energy to set powerful intentions for the new year. If you can stay accountable to your goals, you may even be able to transform one of your hobbies into a lucrative side hustle or career. Okay? <clears throat> so, if y'all have Capricorns anyway and y'all short, this is for y'all. Okay, I'm gonna wanna say her still, so. All eyes are on you this winter, Capricorn. In the holiday season, we only add to your sparkle, especially as the sun illuminates your first house of appearances in the self on December the 21st. You'll be bursting with charm and eager to enjoy the spotlight, making it an ideal time to voice your ideas and plant seeds of inspiration in the people around you. For, I, I, I know she be something like that. Just be sure to take a break from strategizing every once in a while to connect with your favorite people and treat yourself to little luxuries. You earn it. Then you may want to prepare yourself for the unexpected and budget accordingly after your wealth ruling planet Uranus station direct in your fifth house of creativity and pleasure on January the 27th. During this period, exciting events and classes could pop up that you absolutely won't want to miss. 
Get ready to go with your good and exercise untapped parts of your brain, okay? If you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart, this is for you. It is time to recharge your emotional batteries, Aquarius. As the sun which oversees your love life, illuminates your fifth house of secrets and dreams on December the 21st, you could feel the urge to retreat from the crowds to reflect on the events of the past year and how they affected your heart. Whether you are single or attached, feel free to press pause on meeting new people until you fully in the mood to socialize. True. You should be ready to come out of your shell after the assignment of the holiday season has passed. <clears throat> then you could be blessed with a cosmic power up when your career ruling planet Pluto enters your first house of the self on January the 20th. This nine-month transit may even function as a sort of preview into the next 20 years of your professional life. Pay attention to how you interact with people at work during this time and prepare to let go of things you can't control. Contemplating themes of power, transformation, and rebirth will help you create the career you desire. If you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, this is for you. Friends can make practically anything fun, Pisces. You could get a first-hand reminder of this when your routine ruler, your routine ruling son enters your 11th house of friendships and goes on December the 21st. This would be a beautiful time to invite your favorite people to join you in your pursuit of health and happiness. <clears throat> Enjoy spicing up each other's days with walks, workouts, and other enriching activities. Teamwork will also be favored under frenzy, making it easier for you to see eye to eye with just about anyone. Then when Mercury, your domestic ruling planet, stations direct in your 10th house of career and public life on January the 1st, you could feel called to make adjustments to your schedule to better prioritize your professional ambitions. While you often prefer to focus on others, this is the moment to redirect some energy towards achieving your vision. People will be especially ready to listen to your ideas after the messenger planet concludes his shadow period on January the 20th. Save your most important conversations for them. Okay, y'all? Got another one. I think I still got time. The darkest day of the year arrives on December the 21st, marking the beginning of winter for those in the Northern Hemisphere. At the same time, our ego ruling sun will enter ambitious Capricorn, putting us in the mood to start planning for the year ahead. Really? Go on, you crazy. When the sun moves through this cardinal of sign, we often driven by a desire for consistency. Lose this moment to meditate on how you handle the dark months to come and make the smartest loose of your time. You'll be filled with high hopes for a brighter future as bountiful Jupiter stations diary in reliable Taurus on December the 30th. When the planets of luck, knowledge, and abundance move forward in this fixed earth sign, he also calls us to live in the present and practice gratitude for the things we already possess. This is a wonderful opportunity to share what we have with the people around us. Then take a second to clear your head and sharpen your critical thinking skills as Mercury stationed direct in Intelligent Sagittarius on January the 1st, 2024. This shift will empower us to step into the new year with a more productive mindset 
helping us correct past mistakes and resist cyclical behaviors. Still, try not to push yourself too hard as mishaps can still happen under the communication ruler concludes his shadow retrograde period on January the 20th, starting January the 4th. When energetic Mars speeds into hard-working Capricorn, our stamina could receive a much-needed boost. We also know to become extra focused under this influence, which allow us to make quick progress on our passion projects and realize our dreams. Just be sure that you don't let your newfound drive get in the way of your compassion for others during this period. We'll be called to reframe my perspective when the spirit driving sun illuminates independent Aquarius on January the 20th. During this historical month, we could feel compelled to express our individuality and seek out new ways of doing things. We may also find ourselves able to understand the needs of others more easily. Consider how you can lose your personal resources to support the greater good. Also, on January the 20th, transformated Pluto will leave materialistic Capricorn and make his way into forward thinking Aquarius. Yes. Okay. Okay, yes. As he does the finer things. As he does, the planet of power, death, and rebirth will encourage us to rethink how we connect with our friends, communities, and to humanity as a whole. This transit could also signal that we are on the precise of significant shift in how we function as a society. The last time that Pluto moved through Aquarius was from 1778 to 1798, a period that saw both the French, the French and American revolutions. If you get a chance to peek behind the curtain, don't turn away from the truth. You have the chance to start making some meaningful changes once unpredictable Uranus stations that are read in the Tumman Taurus on January the 27th. As the planet of rebellion and invocation moves forward, he urges us to adjust how we approach our resources in particular. This means we may have to make some uncomfortable yet necessary altercations to how we approach our money and positions, but we sure to come out on the other side stronger and with a more sustainable outlook. Finally, don't forget to practice softness as the sun enters compassionate Pisces on February the 18th slash 19th, depending on your time zone. You can support your spirit by engaging who, who, so yes, if you with the most high, it started today, and and the rest of y'all gonna get it tomorrow. You can support your spirit by engaging in self-reflection, daydreaming, and artistic pursuits without guilt throughout this period. Just try to avoid surging too far into the depths of your inner psyche. Aim to love yourself as you would others and look for beauty in your surroundings, okay? When it comes to the winter solicit, y'all. So, that's you go. That is y'all astrology slash not so reports. Hopefully, y'all enjoy. When they tell me to put another one on here, I will. Peace.